back, all, all the stuff that took you up to this to this night, and then what your feelings were when it happened. Yeah, it's been awesome. Uh, like you said, went out to, to work with John Beck um, in, in California and Adam Dato and Taylor and, and those guys. And it was awesome. I had to throw with a lot of different guys, uh, get to meet a lot of different guys, whether it was just you know on the field or sitting down uh, you know at dinner. Uh, so it was an awesome experience for me and definitely learned a lot. Um, I guess fast forwarding a little bit to my second pro day was awesome. Uh, for me, it was just you know giving those guys another opportunity to see me. I wanted them to know exactly what they were getting um, and past that, you know, it's just been, been Zoom meetings and, and obviously just excited uh, for this opportunity. Hey, Trey, this is, this is Cam Inman of the San Jose Mercury News. Congratulations. And I, I want to find out just um, your expectations for year one. I mean, do, do you expect something similar to where you went to North Dakota State and you learned for a year uh, like you wanted to do and then were able to get in and show, do you expect kind of a similar plan or are you ready to roll right away? Um, honestly, I'm not really worried about it right now. Right now, I'm, I'm just focused on getting there, learning as much as I possibly can, you know, getting to know Jimmy and the guys in the room um, and learning, getting to know him, becoming close with him. And, and like I said, just learning as much as I can. And, and then at that point, obviously, uh, competing. Hey, uh, Trey, you're the number three pick in the draft, so it's going to be hard to be the underdog uh, still. Uh, but still, there is talk about you may not be ready quite for the NFL and, you know, you didn't play that much and, oh, geez, it was North Dakota State. I mean, is some of this similar to what, what you heard when you were coming out of high school? And, you know, will it be like a lot of athletes fuel for you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's kind of the same stuff, this whole process. And, and I understand it's a critiquing process because that's what it is. Um, you know, it's, it's, it was probably the longest job interview that I ever thought I'd have or, or longer than I ever thought I'd have. Uh, but I don't think I could could have been in a better situation. Like I said, just super excited to get there and learn. Um, and at this point, like I said, the biggest thing for me is just getting there, uh, getting another coaching staff and my teammates and, and the guys in the quarterback room. Hey, Trey, one of the things a lot of people uh, said about you coming into this process was uh, that you, you had a lot on your plate, that, that North Dakota State asked you to do a lot pre-snap, things like that. Can you tell us what were some of the things that, that you did and things that you think can maybe help speed up your process as you adjust to the NFL? Yeah, I think just just the ability and, and having to learn the offense in North Dakota State, uh, whether it was from a terminology standpoint or everything we did with with play action or whatever it was, um, you know, calling protections at the line of scrimmage. And, and obviously I was super blessed to, to have a coaching staff that trusted me and believed in me to, to make those decisions. Um, so for me, I think that was, was a huge advantage for me. Um, and I'm excited to get there and learn as much as I possibly can. And, and being at North Dakota State was a huge blessing for me, you know, from that standpoint. Um, and, and I'm thankful for it. Hey, Trey, I, I think for your, your first pro day in, in early March, you guys incorporated some 49ers-like plays into that script. But then the, the 49ers weren't weren't prominent at that pro day. Did, did that strike you as – did that – um, did you notice that? And um, can you talk about when their kind of involvement began with you and whether you kind of felt like they were a team that was interested in you from the get go? Uh, yeah, I really didn't know. And, and for me, my whole mindset, the last six, seven months of training has just been controlling what I can control and not worrying about what I can't. Uh, so for me, you know, whether it was who from what team or, or what teams were, were not at my pro day wasn't something that I even paid attention to, honestly. Um, but, but yeah, I wanted to obviously, uh, with my pro day, uh, give teams an opportunity to see me and, and do as much, you know, within their offenses as I possibly could and show that I can do that, uh, whether it's play action or different concepts. Uh, the last few months, obviously, um, I've had the opportunity to, to talk uh, on Zoom and on the phone with, with uh, some of the coaches on, on the 49ers. Um, and, and, you know, like I said, I don't think there's a better situation out there for me. Hey, Trey, I got an opportunity to talk to John Beck, and he told me what you can do in this offense. I'm curious what um, he told you about what it's going to be like for playing under Kyle, because I'm sure that, that question came up from you. Yeah, John was a great resource and, and will continue to be for me. Uh, like I said, I learned a ton being out there with him, got to watch film on, on multiple teams. Um, but yeah, he, uh, he has high expectations, and, and for me, um, and very, you know, holds Kyle, uh, Coach Shanahan at a very high, uh, on a pedestal. Um, and it's well-deserved. Obviously, John has done it at the highest level and uh, has played at the highest level, done exactly what I want to do. Um, so for me, uh, John Beck is, is a great resource for me, and I'm excited to continue to, to learn from him.
Hey, Trey, my name's Chris Biederman uh, I'm with the Sacramento Bee. Just curious, given you only had one game this year and it was sort of a, a weird showcase game, uh, what do you what do you do to try to continue the the development and, and to continue to get better when you can't get those game reps? Yeah, that was another thing that, you know, I, I just had no control over. Um, so for me, it's been, you know, whether it's film study, uh, NFL film or my film, um, learning as much as I possibly can just about the game of football um, in that situation. So for me, that's been the biggest thing, uh, obviously working out with as many different people as I can. And, and over the last six, seven months, uh, sitting down and meeting with as many you know football minds as I possibly can, uh, whether it's quarterbacks, guys in the league right now. Um, that, that Honestly, John Beck helped me a ton with. Quincy helped me a ton with. Uh, just getting me those connections. Uh, so for me, it's been about, you know, more on the mental side, just learning as much as I can about the game um, and, and, you know, fine tuning my mechanics and, and just being as ready as I possibly can. Thank you for your service to our country. Hi, Jennifer Lee Chan from NBC Sports Bay Area. John and Kyle both said that it was really great element to meet your parents when they were at your pro day. They said how impressed they were and Kyle Shanahan was a ball boy with the 49ers when your dad was in camp. Can you talk about that interaction between Kyle and John and your parents and what it meant to you? Yeah, I mean, first, I guess what it meant to my parents, they, it meant the world to them uh, and my younger brother as well. Them, them just taking the time to just say hi, uh, that meant a lot. Um, so for me, uh, knowing that, that that coaching staff and my coaching staff uh, went out of their way to meet my parents, uh, you know, that means a lot, you know, not only for me as a football player, but just as a person. Hey, Trey, uh, Kyle is known as, as kind of a stickler about footwork and, and very particular, you know, fine-tuned things um, and pretty harsh in, in some meetings with his quarterbacks. What, what was that process like in terms of him asking you that, that tough questions about, you know, maybe your worst moments on film and, and how did you sort of deal with that? Yeah, I mean, I, I've watched my worst moments on film probably a million times. Uh, you know, me, whether it was only playing 17 games or just all the Zoom meetings uh, over the last six, seven months. Um, so for me, it was, you know, I don't think – obviously he's going to continue to teach me and coach me uh, a lot, him and Coach Scangarillo and the rest of the coaching staff and the quarterbacks in the quarterback room. Uh, so for me, I'm, I'm just excited to get there and learn. Obviously he hasn't, you know, coached me one-on-one -on -one in that situation, uh, but I'm really looking forward to it. Hi, Trace. Chris Alvarez from ABC7 San Francisco. Congratulations. I just want to know, you've realized a dream right now. What was that phone call like initially with the coach and Kyle or Kyle and John? Yeah, I mean, it was pretty emotional for me uh, right away. Um, just kind of a surreal feeling and obviously not knowing what the situation was going to be going into it. Um, you know, it was, you know, you never really knew until you knew. Uh, so for me, it was emotional and just super blessed. I uh, felt super thankful for, for everyone that's helped me get to this point. Hey, Trey, congratulations. Kate Rooney with Cron 4 News in San Francisco. Uh, we heard that you have a family dog named Niner. I'm wondering if that's true. And if so, is that related to the 49ers? And then if I could sneak another one in there, um, how much of the 49ers have you gotten to watch? And how do you think you fit in with these guys on the field and off? Yeah, um, I do have a dog named Niner. Uh, it was more honestly because I was number nine. My dad wore number nine. Uh, my brother wore number nine all throughout, you know, high school. My dad wore it uh, throughout his professional career. Um, but yeah, it, it works out great now. That, that's got to be God. Uh, God, God did that. Uh, but for me, yeah, I mean, I've watched a ton of, of football in general, uh, so I'm super excited um, to, to get there. Like I said, just learn, uh, learn from the guys in the room, learn from the coaching staff, uh, and, and be able to compete. Trey, I, what are your expectations for your pro career? Just looking at the whole big picture here, what do you want to get accomplished? Uh, I mean, I'm not going to get ahead of myself. We're, we're, we're night one, like hour one right now. So uh, for me, you know, my biggest thing is just, just get in and, and learn as much as I possibly can. That's, I'm just excited to get there, uh, get to know the community, get to know the organization um, and, and learn. Like I said, just, just learn. We'll do a few more, please. Hey, Trey, Kyle Posey, Niners Nation, long time no talk. Still haven't forgiven you about the ranch comment, but uh, how much 49ers have you watched? And just from a familiar, familiarity standpoint for their roster, and what do you think your biggest learning curve would be as a rookie coming in? 
Um, I'm not sure, I guess, off, off the top of my head what, what it'll be, but I, I'm, you know, excited to get there and be challenged. And I know this coaching staff is going to push me to get better every single day. Uh, and that's something I'm really looking forward to, you know, getting outside my comfort zone again. Um, I'm sorry about that comment about the ranch. It's, it's still true. Uh, but, yeah, like I said, just just excited. Uh, and I know this coaching staff and the guys in the quarterback room are going to push me uh, and help me compete and help me learn. So that's the biggest thing. I'm just looking forward to it. We'll do the last one for Trey. Hey, Trey, my name is Tracy Sandler from Fangirl Sports Network. Kyle Shanahan described you as the CEO of a company and the way you relate to your teammates. Can you just talk a little bit about that skill set and when you started to develop it? Yeah, I think the biggest thing for me is just, you know, earning that mutual level of respect. Uh, and that's earned, you know, especially as a quarterback, obviously you have to make uh, sacrifices. Uh, and this is what I signed up for and this is what I love to do and I can't wait to do it. Uh, but but just for me, it's about, you know, treating people the right way uh, and leaving an impact on people. Uh, that's that's bigger than football. So obviously football is what I love to do and I can't wait to get there and learn. Uh, but But I don't believe that I'm on earth to be a football player. Thank mm -hmm. you.